Now, I graduated from school many moons ago. And while I enjoyed it, I always hated having to do homework. After watching this film, I had some homework to do because either it was pieced together as a hot mess or it's a brilliant film that I didn't get because I'm a flubbing idiot. This is Dave from Nerdbox and I'm joined by my wife Jennifer also from Nerdbox welcoming you back to another episode of the Popcorn Confessional where we're going to talk about The Night House. So fire up the Jiffy Pop and meet us in the booth. After the unexpected death of her husband, Beth returns to work only a few days later in an attempt to return to normal. Only she is being haunted by her husband in her dreams, which she begins to become unable to separate from reality and leads her on an investigation to discover who her husband was when she stumbles across a picture of another woman on his phone and even more on his laptop. Now, we've been lazy, so we've seen this movie almost a week ago. So, you're getting a double feature. Yeah. So, you'll have releases for this and Reminiscence probably within a day of each other. And it's kind of fitting because both movies are fluid movies. And what I mean by that is you're going to go and watch this movie. And whatever your mindset is or whatever you're thinking, it's probably going to make the story a little bit different for you than... But it'll be for somebody else. It just depends on where your mindset's at. Now, the director of this film, who uh, is David Bruckner. Yeah. Good first name there. He has done some horror movies, some interesting ones. Signal, which came out over in the UK. Very good. Not talked about. Don't know why we didn't choose that for 31 Days of Halloween. Uh -huh. Hope maybe we'll add it in or throw it in for next year. He did a little segment on VHS called Amateur Night. That's one with the creepy girl in the room. Check it out. It was the best of the VHS films. It was. It was. Of all of them, too, I think. Mm -hmm. And then he did Ritual, which was a movie that I didn't think either one of us would like, where you have the guys backpacking through the woods and they stumble along with some weird shit and things go a little haywire. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed that one. Mm -hmm. Creeped me out a little, too. Now, uh, what did you think of this film? Okay, so I'm going to start off with saying I am a huge fan of the paranormal, creepy, ghosts, all of that. You can ask my husband. I, I will watch marathons of unsolved mysteries that I've already seen a million times. Except for the new garbage that's on Netflix. No, I watched that too. Twice. I love any of that stuff crime shows paranormal what have you and this kind of was like a mix and mash of like all of that but they lost me at some point they just lost me <laughs> i think for me it was i don't know there was just some weird shit going on that just didn't make sense to me so they lost me uh it's definitely genre bending because every time you think you're it's going down a certain path this little new trail of bread comes comes along and it's mm -hmm. like oh me i have adhd so it's like we're doing this in the movie it's like oh let's go down this path <laughs> oh another oh that let's go down that path and watch this here so that's definitely in this and that's why i said i don't like watching a movie where i have to go home and I have to read about it so I know what the hell I just watched. Mm -hmm. And that was this. Like, I was interested yeah. the entire film. It was well acted. Mm -hmm. It had such creepy aesthetics the entire film. Yeah. That kept you drawn in. But, like, what the hell is going on in this film? Yeah, I mean, there, there were scenes where I jumped. And not because they were, like, the normal jump no. scenes. It was what happened that would make you jump. Oh, blaring music all of a sudden. You know, that, that sort of thing. That died down, though. It did. Like, in the beginning, mm -hmm. when it was more paranormal, they leaned on the the heavy mm -hmm. music. Because I think this person that produced it is kind of tied to Insidious mm -hmm. or The Conjuring films. So that's, you know, you kind of felt that influence in there. 
where it's like, oh, you know, the heavy mm-hmm. violins and all that other stuff in there. Yeah. So that was there in the beginning, but that kind of faded out as the story just progressed. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the character, you're totally invested in the character. She's going through some major struggles with, you know, having lost her husband mm-hmm. to a scenario that we really can't talk about. And uh, you get to feel all those emotions that she kind of has mm-hmm. as you're going through yeah. this film here. I felt it. I, I felt it when she, you know, the, the heart-wrenching cries and the, you know, not being able to move on without him. And, yeah, I definitely felt it when she was acting it. Now, online, there's a theory about, you know, the husband and the house and the wife that we can't go into because it's going to be a spoiler. So you would have to do your homework on mm-hmm. it. I disagree with it. Because there's two key things in this film that everybody's getting wrong on it. It's the Louvre doll, and it is the Kydroya maze. Those two items are key to this entire film that they never really explain nope. right. And there isn't really a good explanation of what exactly they are. They're just kind of like little bits and pieces they'll be thrown into the movie here and there you know you'll see like this this clay doll fall on the floor and so they focus on it and now it's not just a clay doll it's a clay doll with pipes spears yeah. pikes going through every yeah it gives orifice. you like a voodoo yeah. kind of sense to it yeah every orifice of a woman's body yes so there's that, and then there's the maze. So if you look up the maze, maybe I'll throw a picture of it up here so you can see it. And then you have the maze, and there's some history behind both of these in our history. Mm-hmm. Not me and her history, but no. all of us, our history <laughs> in this world. So that's where I went down the rabbit hole when I came back from the movie that was researching that stuff. I was like, oh, this movie got a lot more interesting because... Mm-hmm. They didn't tell you, but now when you look and do the research on it, and then you see what other people are saying about the movie and what they think the ending is, I was like, no, you're wrong, because this is on the lines of the ritual. And that's all I'm going to mm-hmm. leave it at. So, what did you uh, think of this film? So, I love the whole paranormal aspect, as I said. I think that Rebecca Hall, the only other thing I remember seeing her in was The Town. She was the the bank teller that got kidnapped, you know, by uh, Ben Affleck's crew. She was really good in that. She was excellent in this. She yeah, really, she very, knocked very it out of the park. She definitely played this role really well. And so I liked the acting. I liked the storyline until it lost me. <laughs> so, so probably if I had done some research, I would, think differently on it but it did lose me at some point so i'm gonna give it a b minus a b minus for being lost in the movie yeah i figured you would have given it around a c a Mm. lower i'm going with a solid b that's where i'm going that's with the research unfortunately if you're going to see this movie in the theaters you don't want to think don't go see this movie because you're going to be lost you're going to be pissed off So make sure you like our page, share the videos, because we want more of you to like it, or not like it if you decide that's which way you're going. The ice cream is watching you guys. You'd be angry. If you do go out and see this film, what is your thoughts on what the hell is going on here? Let us know. Want to see those detective hats on? I want to hear what you have to think, or read what you have to think, or you can just... Call me up for my friends that watch this and let me know what you think of this one. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you go down to the right of the screen, click that subscribe button, and then click the notification bell so that you're notified of other videos that are coming out for our channel. And like I said, this is a double feature, so we're going to roll into reminiscence later today, tomorrow, or maybe in two days. So until the next, see ya. See ya.